Hello everyone and welcome to the Keyword Searching 2 Assignment Overview. In this assignment, we're going to continue looking at keywords and different tools to combine them so that we can effectively search library databases. In this assignment, we're going to add in two more specialized tools called phrase searching and truncation. Phrase searching is the use of quotation marks around keywords that are actually more than one word. For example, mental illness is two words, but we need both of those words in order to get the idea we want to find. In situations like that, we would use phrase searching. And yes, I know it's kind of confusing to talk about using phrase searching in a search phrase, but I didn't name these things. I just tell you how they're called. The second tool we're going to add in is called truncation, which is the use of the asterisk or that little star symbol on the eight key in order to find variations of a word. Variations of a word means that it has the same root word, but has slightly different endings. So using truncation will help you to find more of those variations than using the root word alone. You'll notice that today's assignment is very similar to our previous keyword searching assignment. This is my design. The reason that we're doing it this way is to build in practice. Just like with any other skill, you need to practice using these tools in order to really get a good understanding of them and to commit them to your long-term memory. So even though today's is similar, the assignment will help you to further your skills with these search tools. For this assignment scenario, your English professor is asking you to write a research paper about representation of marginalized groups. You have to look for at least one book or ebook and one scholarly article. The scholarly journal article must be full text, English, and published within the past five years. You can pick any marginalized group and any means of representation from these lists as long as you pick one from each list. For part one, you'll list the keywords that you chose for your scenario, and then you'll construct a search phrase. For this search phrase, you need to use one Boolean operator and phrase searching. So we're going to be combining our new tools with some of the tools that we've looked at before. In step three, you'll identify which Boolean operator you chose and where you chose to incorporate phrase searching. Explain what these are doing in your search phrase to help you find better results. You'll then use your search phrase to find a book in the library catalog and record the author, title, publisher, and two subject terms. In part two, you'll develop more keywords based on your book or ebooks record and your own brainstorming. And you'll need to use at least one of these synonyms or related terms when we get to part three. For step one in part three, you need to list both the keywords from your scenario and whichever synonym or related term you decided to use. You will then use those keywords to construct a search phrase. This search phrase must have at least two Boolean operators nesting, phrase searching, and truncation. This is going to be a pretty complex search phrase. The library databases can use more tools than the library catalog can, and they usually benefit from searches that are a little more complex. You're then going to identify and explain your choices. Just like in all the others, tell me where you used which tools and what do they and what they do to help you get better results. You're then going to search with your search phrase and the appropriate limiters that are listed in the scenario in Academic Search Complete and record the article title, periodical title, MLA 8th edition citation, permalink, and two subject terms from the article that you find. I hope you find this video helpful as you complete today's assignment. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'll be more than happy to work with you through anything. 
Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.